Let's play. Hi friends, welcome back to Rational Gamer YouTube channel. This is Evil Namsis and today we are going to play the fifth installment in the Splinter Cell franchise. The game name is Splinter Cell Conviction. So let's begin this. Begin from the start and begin on realistic difficulty. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. That was a pretty cool intro. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. And she was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left her at Echelon, left the life he knew, left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name. And he found somewhere to go looking. A city called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept this. Compliments of your call. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. So Grim wants you to look up. Use your mouse to look up, obviously, and game asks us, do you want to set the controls to inverted look? I never want to use inverted controls, so I will say no. Press C. And look up. Just look up, Sam. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. That's very noble of you. Go towards the stalls. Right now, we cannot use any gun. But we need to take cover because this is only a tutorial. Close to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it. I'm there. No man. Hang on. I don't like being I'm out tapping here into the city's power grid. Back. That'll let me overload the transformers the near on, you huh? and blow out those lights. You think of that? Yeah. Then there's this flashback. Remember, the first mission is only a tutorial training. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like 
like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Switch on the light. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. Switch off the light now. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? <sighs> Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's going to shut the door and I'll be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. Oh, shit! Eat this, fucker! We have nowhere to go, so we can only shoot from here. Stones, man. Press the middle mouse click to zoom in or zoom out. Just like that. And press the R key to reload. Remember, we are on realistic difficulty here. What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Yeah, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. So this is the new feature in this game. You need to press hand to hand kill button, the default C button, to perform a hand to hand kill. And then you need to, you have the ability to mark your targets by pressing the Q key, unlike Splinter Cell Blacklist, where that is the Alt key, I guess, if I remember correctly, Alt control were the combinations, or maybe, yeah, that was. Now we need to press the E key to eliminate the mark targets. Protect your family. Dad, what did you do to them, Dad? Sarah, baby, don't look. What Sam. are you doing, Daddy? What, what are, you are you doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Just like before, perform a hand-to-hand -hand kill by pressing C, mark the two targets, even though that's not necessary. But... I'll do it anyway. You have used your execute ability, perform a hand to hand kill to gain the ability to execute again. I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. You see anything? Need to do the same thing again here. If you hold down the C key, you can actually human shield the enemy, then mark the two targets. Right now we can only mark two targets and unless we upgrade our gun. He ran away, you can throw the human shielded enemy by pressing C and W, the forward key, backward key, etc. Or you can throw them like this. I don't know if he's dead or no. Because I just threw him. 
So in this game, there are not many non-lethal ways. You can bash the door by pressing C. Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? Fuck you! So another new feature in this game is interrogation. To interrogate Gramkos, move him around and press C near appropriate objects. Like this. Okay, enough. You want to know who sent me? It's Colbert. Andre Colbert. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Colbert want me dead? If I talk, he'll kill me. He's crazy. He drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? You don't understand. Oh, he killed me. Oh, I didn't see nothing, man. I swear. In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not going to tell him a damn thing. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew Coben was in there. And that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in. No matter what. So unlike the previous game in the franchise, this one has autosave feature. No manual saves here. This is your new snake cam, which can be used by looking down the door and press the space bar key. This is a mirror, but I don't know how it, Sam can use it because there's not much space. Or maybe there is, I don't know. So now you can use the mirror to peek through doors. So you're saying we're going dancing. No this game is made in Unreal Engine. And it was not well received by hardcore Splinter Cell fans, and I can understand why. Whenever you see that uh, trigogal, red trigogal sign on the top of your screen, that means the game is auto saving. That ain't great. I'll, I'll go check it out. What was that? Damn it! You can even mark the enemies through the mirror whenever you looking through underneath a door human shield him once again by the way the training mission is already over sometimes it's tough to mark targets when they are standing in a linear fashion And you can pull someone out through the window. Reminds you so much of Hitman Absolution. Doesn't it? 
Let's do the walk. Someone took out the chandelier. Okay, here they come. So it's time for me to hide. What the fuck? Fuck, man! Hey, but shit! Whoa, man! Right now we don't have the sonar vision, so we don't know where are the enemies. You don't get the sonar vision uh, until half of the game has passed already. So you don't have much help with the night vision, thermal vision. There are no night vision or thermal visions in this game either. So it's your best bet to stay in shadows always. Destroy the lights and move away from that location because the enemies will come rushing back to that location where the they heard the gunshot. There's that pipe. Okay, guys, spread out and find this guy. I don't know if I can mark and execute them right now. I don't know if I still have that ability. Jesus Christ! So I guess we will continue the game from here in the next video. Goodbye.